Look down here below me, we have an icon in the bottom right of our screen. Watch what happens when I click it. We have previews of posts, like the thumbnails appearing, and if you click it, it takes you over to the post. But isn't that a snazzy way of being a little bit different where you want to kind of let people see maybe particular products or posts or anything else on your website? We're going to create that really quick and easy right now. First thing we're going to do is go and set up our pop-up template. So if you're in WordPress, go over to your sidebar. You can go over to templates, click save templates, and then go and hit pop-ups. Or you can just hit pop-ups. Either way, it's kind of going to take you roughly to the same place anyway. Go and click add new. It will already default to pop-up, and we're going to give it a name bottom post which sounds a bit rude but we'll go with it now i'm not going to use any of the templates that are provided to us and i have to say elemental have improved them over recent times and they are quite snazzy some of them i'm going to cross that out what we're going to do bo is uh there's certain stages you have to go through and it's and it suddenly feels like you're going back on yourself but trust me it, it will make sense the first thing we're going to do bo is just make sure we are using a column like that i am going to go over to my column or the container sorry did I say column? I meant to say container. We're going to zero out the margin and padding. I'm going to go to my layout and make sure it is set to be a full width. I'm not setting the height. And that's all I'm doing at the moment for this part. I'm then going to go down to where we have the cog down here where it says settings. I'm going to click that. And I'm now going to say the width of my layout is set to be a VW100 like that. So even though in the container I said give me full width, it was still kind of constricted or compacted within a certain area or a state. Make sure your setting for your pop-up, it's down here. I know it is the settings. You might think, well, is that the pop-up setting or not? That's where you go for the pop-up setting, okay? Make sure that is set to uh, 100. I'm not going to bother setting any position. I mean, I could do, I could go and stick it at the bottom now, but for the tutorial, I'll leave it there and then we'll shove it to the bottom later on and we'll worry about the settings of all of this once we get to that stage. Now we're going to start building and here's where it gets really simple and easy. We're going to go and drop in a loop grid like that and we're going to go and create a template. Now all I'm going to add in is the featured image. Now bear in mind though that when you add anything into here it drops it into a container so if you want to add in a title below you can do as well but given what I've shown you initially I just want to have images so that hopefully it picks up your intrigue and you go and click it. The power of your images will obviously matter so if your images look very like similar to one another it might not get the same effect but let's pretend these are very expressive images okay I'm gonna go and set this to be a full I'm going to not have any caption I am gonna both set in a link thereby when you click it it takes you to the post so I hit custom URL I then go over to the stack or the dynamic tags click that and then click post URL that is how simple and easy that was to do now I'm gonna go over to the style I'm not gonna bother with the width at the moment I roughly know I want the height of it to be 70 uh, pixels in height. So I'm going to go over and just pop that to be 70. It looks really narrow. Don't worry. We're going to go to object fit and I'm going to set this to be cover. You can now see, well, now it's completely chopped off the head there. So I'm going to set the position to be top center. Now that still does not look right. But please remember when this is set to kind of be more like a square like design, the cover will kick in and it will now, you'll see more of the person. But just go with me at the moment. I am going to give this some border radius of about five and I am going to give it a box shadow. I'm just going to minimize the transparency of that just a little bit and I'm going to reduce the blur as well to be about five. So we get a little bit, but it's not a huge amount. You can just see it there. It's just popping a little bit, but we don't want it to be like, look really artificial and fake at the end of the day. Now we're gonna go back and refine the loop grid, but we do have to save the template first. Now the word save template is actually here. You just can't actually see it. So please don't worry about that. If you are worried about the fact that you can't see the button, just go and click update and refresh the page and it's gonna bring you back to the same starting point. You know, but it looks really ugly because it's currently showing us six posts in with three columns. Let's make sure we are clicked on the actual loop grid. And I'm going to go here and change this to be 12, and but I am going to say show me 11 items. Now, one of the things I came to find out when I was building this was that if you go and set it to be 12 columns and you show 12 items, can you see over here we have the close button? It is now over one of the images. So I'm going to remove one. So if you're going to show eight posts or you're going to have eight columns, sorry, 
you can only show seven items. Now you can do what you want with the loop grid. If you want to refine it to only show certain categories or certain posts, you can do. I would definitely recommend don't have pagination on for what we're doing here. And I am going to go and give this about a hundred from the left so that we have just a little bit of gap over here. We have a bit of gap there, but I wanted to just add a little bit there. I don't want it to be pushed up all the way across. I'm gonna pop in about a 10 over there so we can now see what we've got there. So now we have a reduced gap between them. But if you feel it is too horizontal, just go to your advanced tab and maybe go and say, give me about 200 like that from the right. And even though that is still quite horizontal, I accept that you can start to shrink it down. But I just wanted to show you how the more you do that, the more you can refine it. Now, obviously it looks really ugly, so very simple and easy to do. Just make sure you're clicked on the container where this all sits and go and add in some padding. Because we've added in more right margin, you can now go back and make the column and the items per page match each other. So work it through what works for you with what you wanna basically show. Now let's go and do the final thing before we activate this. Go down to the cog again where you have the settings for the pop-up. We're now gonna position this to be at the bottom, as you can see here. But again, I'm just gonna leave it at the top just to show you the close button, okay? We are going to uh, not have an overlay. I'm gonna set the entrance animation to be fade in up and the exit animation to be fade out down. I'm gonna make sure it's a lot quicker than that. I go with a 0.4. Um, in fact, 0.3, maybe. no, 0.4 will go for. I find 1.2 is just really slow for what the effect you want to go for here. We'll go after style. I'm not going to do anything here. If you wanted to, you could go and refine. Like, look, I'm just going to make the close button be a little bit bigger like that. Do what you want, change your color. Obviously make sure it fits your branding and all of that because that really can make a real good difference. By the way, I should have mentioned before we got to this stage is that it's not the sort of thing I recommend having on the mobile because what will happen is it's gonna look really, really ugly like this. And even though if you go back into the loop grid and say, well, no, change, because at the moment this is showing three columns, even when you remove the left and right margin that I added in and you then get it to show five or six, well, you're gonna have a bit of a problem with what are you showing on the desktop and the mobile, unless you get really funky with CSS code. And I feel like it's a feature which is great for the desktop, but don't overdo it for the mobile. And I would probably uh, set it to be responsibly hidden. You know, the pop-up button. Well, the button that activates this, we're gonna set that up. But I would say don't bother showing it on the mobile. So the final thing with the pop-up settings is in the advanced tab, you can now decide on, you know, I mean, we're not gonna have an overlay. I mean, I must stress that there is gonna be no overlay. So even though it shows it to you over here, please make sure that is definitely not activated. Um, and then you can decide on are you gonna avoid multiple pop-ups or not? You know, are you gonna mess around with anything else? We're not gonna do much more with it, to be honest. Actually, no, there is something. Pop this to the bottom, there we go. Pop it to the bottom. And then I'm gonna go and hit publish. And now you will get asked to go decide on how you're gonna display it. Is it only gonna be on certain pages? So you would go and then decide if it is certain pages or not. If it's going to be across the entire website and it's not triggered by, you know, when you go to a page, so on page load or when you scroll, you just want it to be activated by a button. You don't need to set anything here, okay? Because I'm only going to show it on a certain page or certain pages. So I don't need to do anything at all here. I'm just going to hit save and close. I'm now going to position a button or an icon to be down here in the bottom right. And when you click that, the pop-up will appear and then you can obviously close it as well. And this is how we're gonna do it. We are gonna go and create an icon or just drop it. The best way to do this is if you're gonna have this visible on every page in your website, you could, if you want, add this icon into your header, especially if your header is visible on the entire website. Or you could just go and pop in a button. I'm gonna go with a plus symbol like this. We'll insert that. I'm gonna modify the style of it. Go to the advanced tab, give it some background, a bit of borders of border of 50, just so we get the rounded effect. Add some padding in to adjust it. With icons and a plus sign, you've got to give it less bottom mark. You'll know this though, you start then, you can see it's very lopsided to the bottom there. So just modify it until you get the right angle of what you want. Then I'm going to go over to the position and I'm going to set this to be a fix. Now this is only going to be on this page, which is why I say if you want it to be on your entire website, 
go and set it in your header and then it will appear on every website but just for this page you can if you want pick this up now and just drag it around if you want you know if I just drop it in over here for instance you will now see the values here start to change with the horizontal and the vertical positioning now that button is not going to do anything at the moment until we go back over to the content for the button and here we have the link option and we are now going to go to dynamic tag and you want to scroll down until you get to pop up for actions. You click that. You then click the spanner or the wrench. We want to open the pop up and we now type into here bottom or just bot. Find it. And then we hit update. So we're viewing our page. And if I click on the icon down here in the bottom right, it pops up. And you can see what it did there. It just came up 0.4 seconds. You got your close button if you want to close it like that. And if I click on any one of these, by the way, this is just a test website. So ignore the single post template style. I've got it. Ignore that completely. Just want to show you how it works. But that's literally it. You could even maybe showcase products. I've just gone and used an icon. You could have had something that had words on there, for instance. You could even have like subscriber when they do that. A subscribe form appears below. But there's a lot of flexibility here, and I think this is a pretty neat way of kind of showcasing blogs or products or anything else on your website without taking up an important bit of a state on your website where you just have like blogs, you know, like a loop grid with three or something. It's it's neat. And this you could even put in a carousel, an auto scroll one. We did a video on that. Go and watch it with a little bit of code. So there's so much you can do. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.